Hello all and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be looking at the Kexgill Bypass, which is a future stretch of air road across Kexgill Moor to blubber houses in North Yorkshire, England. The route is part of the A59 road across the Pennines between Preston and York, with the Kexgill Bypass being located within the Nidderdale area of outstanding natural beauty. The bypass is required as the 1820s built bypass is prone to landslips and road cracking, which has accounted for eight weeks of closure in 2016. It is expected to be 2.5 miles long and to be opened in spring 2026. The word expected is in there. So why does this need to be built? Well the original road past Blubber Houses in Overkex Moor went slightly further north than the current route known as Kexgill. This road is now called Hall Lane at Blubber Houses and becomes a dirt track on the northern side of the valley carrying Hall Beck. This road was developed as a turnpike between 1770 and 1778. The Skipton and Knaresborough Turnpike, if anyone's interested. But between 1823 and 1827, the new cut from Blubhouses to Kexgill Moor, the present A59, was built, which, despite the name of the adjacent stream, became known as Kexgill or Kexgill, spelt with G H Y L L. The underlying geology is Kinder Scout Grit which was formed into several outcrops of the northern side of Gexgill, including one called Dovestone. It is thought that parts of the Craven Faults in the area dislodged the strata and allowed water to carve a rocky gorge. The drop from the edge of the road to the stream at the bottom of the gorge is 20 feet, so don't go down there. The road became well known when it was rechristened Cot de Blubber Houses in the 2014 Grand Depart Tour de France held in Yorkshire, got that out eventually. Now basically the road is shit, it suffered many landslips and cracks as the southern edge of the small valley pushes down upon it. It was estimated that between 2018 and 2017 North Yorkshire County Council spent £1.6 million on remediating landslips and cracks. During the 2007 floods, the road was closed for a week after a landslip trapped a couple in the car. The landslip dislodged 100 tonnes of earth which slid down the embankment. In 2014, over £200,000 was spent on remedial works when heavy rain caused a landslip. In 2016, the road was closed for eight weeks to allow remedial work to be undertaken on the road which had moved 31 inches due to heavy rain over the preceding Christmas period. The road was further restricted for nearly a year from May 2018 and further closures right up until the start of 2025 meant that the road has been closed for a significant period. That is 13 times, unlucky for some, between 2002 and 2025, so the £1.6 million was obviously money down the crapper. Now this fantastic new bypass was subject to extra planning due to it being located within the Nidderdale area of outstanding natural beauty. In January 2022, North Yorkshire County Council announced its intention to proceed with the project ASAP. North Yorkshire County Council acknowledged that delays had been incurred by the statutory processes it needed to fulfil before the bypass could get underway. The project was costed at only £60 million in January 2021, with £56 million coming from the Department for Transport and the rest from North Yorkshire County Council. The proposed route would leave the existing A59 where the road to West End accesses the A59 at Ravens Peak. It would head north between the road to West End and the former Blubber Houses Quarry Processing Site, accessing the original 1778 Turnpike at Kex Moor. The new road would not use Hall Lane but turn south before joining the existing A59 at a revised junction at Church Hill adjacent to Fuston Reservoir is also part of a scheme to improve safety at that location as well. In August 2022, the County Council provided another £7.2 million towards the scheme, with a new project completion date expected to be November 2025. North Yorkshire County Council Deputy Leader Gareth Dadd 
which obviously may be somebody's dad, who knows, stated, I wouldn't say I'm pleased to be having to recommend a further £7.2 million for the Kex Gill project, but nonetheless it shows our commitment to major road improvement. So, all that money been committed to it, that sorted it, yeah? Huh, <laughs> dream on. So on Tuesday the 8th of May, a further £11.7 million was committed to the scheme. And that will now bring the cost of the A59 Catskill realignment project to £82.5 million. I mean, value for money, eh? And to be fair, I mean, addressing the meeting, Councillor Keane Duncan described the use of extra finances as extremely frustrating, so that makes it all OK, doesn't it? Further going on, he explains that the costs primarily relate to the delayed commencement of work as well as essential design changes and poor ground conditions that we encountered on the site. These costs could not have been foreseen. They are not the council's fault, despite ploughing millions into previous projects before and it's still collapsing. But it is the unfortunate reality that it is us, the council and the taxpayers, as always, that are obliged to pick up the bill. But anyway, never mind, the work will create a three-mile bypass around the section of the east-west route, according to the local democracy reporting service. Because the road is a key link between Harrogate and Skipton and provides a route across the north of England between Junctions 31 on the M6 and Junction 47 on the A1. So basically that makes it all fine then, doesn't it? Money well spent and I'm sure this will solve the problem once and for all. And that concludes this highly fascinating look into part of the route of the A59, which runs between Preston and York. And despite it collapsing nearly every year and it costing all that money, it's in an area of outstanding natural beauty, so everything's fine. Just keep throwing money at it. Why not? So until the next video, please do take care of yourselves. If you've liked it, please like, share and subscribe. At least give it a like. It helps... Um, my channel a lot by you just liking it uh, until then the next video that is take care of yourselves and ta-ta for now